Welcome to the Bambanani series. Every child has a right to quality education and teaching inclusively can contribute to achieving that goal. This series of videos illustrates how teachers are teaching inclusively in South African classrooms. The videos focus on teaching numeracy and literacy in the foundation and intermediate phases. To support participation and learning by all learners, the teachers in the clips differentiate their teaching methodologies, content and assessment strategies, and classroom environment. Let's join hands to teach every child. My name is Senze Gashlen Bogazi and it's my third year teaching now at Bosman Primary School. Today in our English lesson we started off with a phonics session and during the phonics session we are learning about the TH sound as a consonant digraph. Morning grade 2. Today we're going to be doing our phonics lesson. We're doing a different sound from the ones we've done before. We're doing the sound for the first time. It's a ta and a ha. When we say these sounds put together, what is it? Right, stop. Offense say it? Miss Mbukazi started off her lesson with an explanation of the new sound they were going to learn, which was the consonant digraph TH. And through this, she established the goal for the lesson. So the learners knew what to look out for in the lesson. When we were exploring with the th sound and the th sound, we did a shared reading exercise and within that shared reading exercise, we did exploratory learning um, and that meant that I had to model the difference between a hard th sound and a soft th sound and that involved a bit of kinesthetic uh, work where learners had to put fingers on their, their throat just to differentiate and feel the hard th sound and uh, just cup their, their hands to feel the soft th sound. The, the thunder grumbled, and with a thrum, the rain drenched him. When the rain stopped, he threw the cloth on the path, and he had to look three times. He looked three, three times. times. One, two, three. three. Once they explored the sound and understood what it can do and what it looks like, Ms. Mbukazi started to guide the learners in application of the sound through a whole class shared reading activity. The text was rich with words that varied between the unvoiced th sound, as in moth, and the voiced th sound, as in this. And with the th sound, it's different from other sounds that we've learned this year so far. So particular attention had to be paid to the fact that it, it's, it looks the same way in different words, but it makes a different sound. Um, I chose this specific sound as a phonics lesson, especially without mixing other sounds in, in, in this specific lesson, because it's unique to the English language. The, the t and the h put together making a th sound. We don't find that in any other language. And also with this context specifically, a lot of and most of the learners are not English mother tongue or home language speakers. So it had to be taught specifically as its own lesson in, in isolation because a lot of the, the, the learners speak another language at home. So what is the next word that we can find in our story? Thick. 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 Is thick a buzz word? Is it hard or is it soft? Thick. Thick. Is it hard or soft? This was done in a multi-sensory way. Research tells us that when learners explore on a multi-sensory level, they are more likely to remember the concept. The learners use their listening and hearing to facilitate auditory discrimination. They use their hands to feel the sound through the touch sensation and they use the different movements of their mouths to project the new sound that they're learning. Pause. 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 Can I feel it as a buzz or a blow? Anele? It's soft, I can feel it blowing. Well done, Anele. So when it came to our worksheets, we had differentiated worksheets in, in the sense that the stronger learners could 
extend themselves by not only circling and identifying and showing us that they recognize the difference between the two words, but they also had to construct their own words and later on construct their own sentences. Whereas from that same worksheet it was differentiated for the weaker learners. The weaker learners just had to identify and show us that they recognize the difference between the two sounds. Independent applied work was then differentiated according to learner abilities. Thus, thus, thus. It, 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 it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. It's hard to Subtle repetition of a new concept is an excellent inclusive approach to follow within the classroom. Ms Mbukazi did this by first explaining the diagraph, then by exploring kinesthetically and then again within the shared reading activity. By the time the learners got to the application task, which was their worksheets, they have practiced and discriminated between the voiced and unvoiced TH diagraph numerous times and could confidently apply their new knowledge on paper.